The A-Team Challenge, a major project of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, is produced in partnership with the School District of Lee County, Waterman Broadcasting, and NBC2. This program features high school students in both public and private schools from six Southwest Florida counties as they compete in this exciting academic challenge. Lee County High School student interns help produce the show under the direction of the Lee County Schools Communication and Production Department. The A-Team Challenge is brought to you by the Suncoast Credit Union Foundation and a contributing sponsorship by Hodges University. Hello everybody and welcome to the A-Team Challenge, academic school year 2016. I'm Chief Meteorologist Robert Van Winkle at NBC2 and thank you for watching our game today. We are in our 27th year celebrating academic excellence here in Southwest Florida. The partnership continues between NBC2, the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools and the Lee County School District. We're pleased to announce this year that you can watch our games, including this one, on the internet. We're posting them on YouTube going high tech here. Just uh, go to the internet and log on to YouTube and look for Lee Schools TV. You'll find our shows posted there on the Lee County School uh, site. We can also uh, say that our games are continuing to be on Comcast Channel 99 and we appreciate Comcast for broadcasting the A-Team Challenge. Students, uh, you are uh, the first round or the first game in our second round of our single elimination competition. Both of you have played before and one of you will be eliminated today and one of you will be moving on into the final rounds. As uh, you know, you'll be answering questions today in the subjects of science, math, arts and humanities, language arts, social studies, and some pretty good general knowledge questions. Here are the rules once again, just as a refresher. Three rounds, five, 10, and 20 points. Work individually in these first three rounds. No help from your teammates. Final exam, you'll be working as a group. Remember, there's no penalty for a wrong answer in the first three rounds. But if you get the answer incorrect, the other team has a chance to hear the whole question and maybe steal the point. So welcome to two fine schools today who've made it here to the second round of our playoffs. Uh, this is Bishop Varro High School on my right and FSW Lee, Florida Southwestern Collegiate High School, Lee County. From here on, I'll be calling you folks FSW Lee. You can see you've got a pretty long name in your title there. All right, so here we go. First round is worth five points. All of you seasoned veterans, get your hands on your buzzers and here we go. Let's play the A-Team Challenge. For five points, first question, what insect's most common species include ground, jumping, Benjamin, FSW, beetle, no, sorry, not the beetle. They include uh, Bishop Vareau, ground, jumping, Haley? Grasshopper? No, not grasshopper. The other one I was gonna give you was funnel web, and they are spiders. That's what I wanted, a spider. Next question for five. When America's transcontinental railroad was completed in 1869, you could ride from Sacramento, California, all the way to what Iowa City? Alex, Bishop Vareau. Des Moines. Nope, sorry, incorrect. FSW, Iowa City, just across the Missouri River from Omaha. Yeah, I got to think about that one a little bit. Geography. Council Bluffs. Council Bluffs is the city in Iowa. <laughs> Lexus. No, I don't think so. All right. Next question for five. Give the word that can mean a page of a book to casually look. Alex Bishop Rowe? Leaf. Yeah, casually look through the book or something you rake up in the autumn. Leaf, five points, starts us off. Bishop Vareau. Next for five. Monarch butterflies, like birds, do what in the winter? Benjamin FSW? Migrate. That is correct. They migrate and then come back in the spring. Correct. Five points, FSW lead. Next for five. In retirement, former U.S. President James Monroe took a seat on the Board of Trustees of what university in the southern state where he was born? Um, Jun Junko, sorry. Furman? Say again? Furman? No, not Furman. Um, FSW Lee? I needed the state. The state was Virginia. The state was Virginia. Uh, University of Virginia, actually, in Charlottesville. Next question for five. It can mean a graph showing important details and a level of public notoriety. A journalist can write one about a famous person that gives a detailed but a brief Alex Bishop Baroque. Column? Nope, sorry, Alex, uh, not a column. It gives a, FSW, I'll finish the question. It gives a detailed but brief biography. Give me the seven-letter word that, for artists, can signify 
Alexis, FSW. Sketch? No, sorry, not sketch. It can signify a side view of a person profile. Okay, sometimes it helps to wait till the bitter end. That's okay, no harm, no foul there. Five up, uh, tied up now. When creating scatter plots, what term is most often used to describe a point that is far from all other points? Uh, Robert, Bishop Barreau. Outlier? Yeah, that's right, Robert. Outlier, they fall from other points in, uh, from the line of the best fit. Five points, Bishop Barreau. The adjective assiduous means working really hard. Spell the word Ian, FSW. A-S-I-D-I-O-U-S. -S. Sorry, Ian, incorrect. Bishop Barreau, anybody want to give it a shot? Buzz in. Alex. A-S-C-I-D-I-G-I-O-U-S. Nope, sorry, both incorrect. A-S-S-I-D-U-O-U-S. -S -S okay, next question for five. Taiwan, Japan, and South Korea are all bordered by what sea? Alex, Bishop Barreau. The Yellow Sea. Nope, sorry, incorrect. FSW, bordered by what sea that is partly named for another nation in the area? Benjamin. The East China Sea. Yes, good job. Five points, FSW Lee. A painting of the Battle of San Romano in 1432 shows this Italian city defeating the city of Siena while both were independent city-states. Name this city still famed for its Renaissance art. Alex, Bishop Verreau. Venice. Nope, sorry, incorrect, wrong one. FSW, Eduardo. Florence. Florence is the right one, five points, FSW Lee. Next for five, give the geologic term for a break in a rock that divides the rock into two sections. Alex, Bishop Barreau? Fault. Yeah, that's right, five points. Good job, Bishop Barreau, it's a fault. Next for five, it became law in 1930 and is thought to have made the Great Depression even worse. Name this punitive tariff opposed by more than a thousand economists economists and named for two congressmen. Uh, Alex, Bishop Barreau. The Kellogg Brand Pact. Nope, sorry, incorrect. FSW. That tariff was the Holly Smoot, the Holly Smoot tariff. Okay, some tough questions there, but look at this, we're tied up. So uh, we will take a short break and uh, come back with our 10 point round. But before we do that, let's introduce you to the players uh, from Bishop Barreau High School in the first spot. Welcome back, Robert. This is Robert Voorhees. Robert is a senior this year. He would like to go to the University of Miami and study actuarial science. In the second spot is Haley. Haley uh, Saratani is a senior this year. She wants to go to Tufts and study pre-med. Haley, good luck to you in the future. Back row is Alex. Alex Simon, a senior this year, wants to head off to Western Kentucky. There he is, and as yet an undecided major. And in the final spot is Junko. Junko Nelson uh, is a senior as well, and she wants to head to USC, University of Southern California, and study civil engineering. So Junko, Alex, and Haley, and Robert, under the coaching of Lori Schreiner, at Bishop Verro High School. Lori, welcome back to you and your team. You're with us every year. It's good to see you. All right, we'll be back uh, with the 10-point round and the FSW Lee students' introduction when we come back. Good job, guys. Two pennies by themselves don't add up to much. But when you're a Suncoast member, every time you swipe your Suncoast credit or debit card, Suncoast donates two cents to help children's programs where you live. That means Suncoast members help make their community a better place every day just by buying things with their cards. And when we add all those pennies from all those Suncoast card swipes together, we can give millions of dollars to our children's future. Visit suncoastcreditunion.com and learn how much Suncoast could save you. Hi, my name is Marshall Bauer, and I'm proud to say I'm the executive director of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools. The foundation has as its mission engaging the business community and the community at large with our students and teachers in the public school system. Through our many initiatives and programs, we enhance and enrich what is already going on in our public school system. The goal in mind is the same goal that the school district has, to make Lee County Public Schools a world-class school system. It is important that the community understand that our students will be competing in a global market. And in order for them to succeed, they need the backing of the entire community. So please reach out to a student, to a teacher, and help the foundation succeed in its mission. Thank you.
Welcome back to the A-Team Challenge. Good game going on. Bishop Vero High School versus FSW Lee. Score is tied up right now. Before we get to our 10-point round, here's the introductions you've been waiting for for FSW Lee students. In the first spot, this is Eduardo. Eduardo Santana is a senior this year, wants to head to the University of Florida and study political science. Eduardo, good luck to you. In the second spot, Ian Sanders. Ian Sanders back again this year on the A-Team. He's a senior, and he would like to go to MIT and study computer science. Ian, good luck to you as well. In the back row is Benjamin, Benjamin Sund, also a senior, and he's headed off to Rutgers to study human genetics. Cool. Good luck to you, Benjamin. And rounding out the team, another senior, this is Alexis, Alexis Restrepo, uh, wants to go to the University of Florida and study exercise, physiology, and biology. Welcome to Alexis, Benjamin, Ian, and Eduardo under the coaching of Mitchell Vital at Florida Southwestern Collegiate High School. All right, guys and girls, put your hands on your buzzers. Ten points now each question. Here we go. First one. What type of galaxy that includes the Milky Way? Alex Bishop Vero. Spiral. Yeah, yeah, shares its name with a perfectly thrown football. You're right. Spiral. Ten points. Bishop Vero. Look at your screen for the next question. It's your first math question of the game. Give the area of a trapezoid with bases of 10 units and 20 units and a height of 16 units. Ian is in FSW. 240 square units. Good job, Ian. That's exactly right. 10 points, FSW Lee. Its main character is sold away from his California home to a man hoping to strike gold in the Klondike. By the end of the novel, that main character has killed a large moose. Benjamin, FSW. Uh, Call of the Wild. Yeah, you must have read that because there's a lot more clues here, but you got that nice and early. Good job. Call of the Wild, 10 points, FSW. He left his native Portugal in March 1500 and reached what is now Brazil less than two months later. Name this explorer. Okay, uh, Alex. Cook. Say again? Cook. No, not Cook. FSW Lee. Uh, Eduardo. Magellan. Both two, two good guesses. Doesn't, uh, doesn't harm or foul either way. No, but the answer was Cabral. Pedro Cabral. Next for 10. For lead, it is slightly more than 11, more than 10 times its value for water at 4 degrees Celsius. It can be increased by raising pressure and Ian, FSW. Specific temperature? No, sorry, not specific temperature. Uh, Bishop Vero, the rest of the question. And decreased by increasing temperature. Name this parameter, represented by the Greek letter rho, and defined as the mass of a substance per unit volume. Alex. Molar mass. No, sorry, incorrect. Just a simple answer of density was all I needed, density. Okay, next question for 10. Give the word that came to English from Spanish as a general term for Spanish explorers like Cortez, uh, Benjamin. Uh, conquistadors. Yeah, conquistadors. They took over Native American populations in some cases. Conquistadors, 10 points, FSW Lee. He recently received the Presidential Medal of Freedom, named this folk singer of Alex Bishop Vero. Bob Dylan. Yeah, good job. All along the watchtower and like a rolling stone, Bob Dylan. Uh, Ten points, Bishop Vero. It has been called the world's easiest jigsaw puzzle because of all the pieces being exactly the same. Give the math term for any design that can be copied over and over to completely fill a plane with no gaps. Robert Bishop Vero. Tessellation. Yes, good job. No gaps in any part of the design. Tessellation. Ten points, Bishop Vero. Which song from the Broadway musical South Pacific is sung as a solo by Emile soon after meeting Nellie for the first time? Alex. I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love with a wonderful guy. <laughs> nope, not that one. <laughs> that would have made a completely different musical, though, if Emile had sang that. Uh, FSW Lee. No? No guesses? Some enchanted evening. Okay, yeah, Alex is like cringing over there. All right, no harm, no foul. Still tied up, look at that. Here we go, more, 10 more points up for grabs. In the novel, Jane Eyre, Jane attends what school where many students get sick? Uh, Junko Bishop. Lockwood School. Say it again. Lockwood School. No, sorry, incorrect. Um, where many students get sick with typhus because of their awful living conditions. FSW Lee. I would like to have given you that point. It's Lowood School. You were very close. Next question for 10. 
In physics, what term represented by a capital X describes the part? Ian, FSW. Displacement. Sorry, Ian, incorrect. Uh, Bishop Vareau describes the part of impedance that is caused by a capacitor or inductor. Alex. Resistance. No, not resistance either. Reactance. Reactance. Next for 10. What trail used by settlers of the West in the mid-1800s? Alex, Bishop Vareau. The Oregon Trail. Nope, sorry, not the Oregon Trail. FSW began, uh, settlers of the West in the mid-1800s began in Boonville, Missouri and ended in New Mexico. Ian. Trail of Tears? Nope, sorry, incorrect. The uh, Santa Fe, the Santa Fe Trail did that. Next question for, five, for 10. What five-letter Sanskrit word used in Hinduism can either be good or bad? Alex Bishop Vareau. Karma. Karma, depending on how you treat other people. Ten points, Bishop Vareau. All right, uh, you'll have a little extra time for this question. What is the sum of 49 to the half power and 64 to the third power? Benjamin's in FSW. Uh, seven and four. I need you to be more specific. Uh, 49 to the half power is seven and 64 to the third power is four. Okay, no, sorry. Oh, Robert, are you 11. In? Okay, sorry. Go ahead, Robert. 11. 11 is what I needed to hear. 11 is the right answer. 10 points, Bishop Vareau. All right, so that concludes the 10 point round. Still neck and neck. Bishop Vareau at 65, FSW at 45. When we come back, we'll have our 20 point round, and scores will continue to be uh, back and forth, I bet. This is a good, tight game. Don't go away. Our schools are faced with increasing budgetary challenges. Now, there's an easy way for all of us to support education. By purchasing a license for learning plate and renewing it each year, $20 are contributed to our schools to help our children. Support the License for Learning campaign. If you've got a car, get involved. For more information, call the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, 239-337-0433. Get involved. The A-Team Challenge, a major project of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, is provided in partnership with the School District of Lee County and Waterman Broadcasting. Hi everybody, welcome back to the A-Team Challenge. We've got a nice game here with uh, Bishop Vareau High School at 65 points, FSW Lee at 45. Each question is now worth 20 points. Here we go, hands on your buzzers. In Roman myth, what planetary god was both the god of spring and the god of war? Alex Bishop Vareau. Mars. Mars is correct, 20 points, Bishop Vareau. On his way back to America from Italy in 1763, he stopped in England for a visit and ended up staying there for the rest of his life. Name this painter called the American Raphael in England, who became King George III's royal painter. Sorry, Robert, that's too late. The answer was Benjamin West. Benjamin West. Next question, 420. Each of your kidneys has a, about a million of what smaller objects that actually filter the waste that goes on in the kidney? Those are called the nephrons, the nephrons. Next question, 420. The president selects a new Supreme Court justice. The Senate must confirm that justice, and then that justice reviews laws passed by Congress and signed by the president to see if they're constitutional. Give the three-word, Alex Bishop Barreau. Checks and balances. Yeah, the three-word term for the concept that includes separation of powers, checks and balances, 20 points, Bishop Barreau. Next for 20. Before the time of Jesus, it usually contained a seating area, a reading desk, and an ark containing the scrolls on which the law was written. Alex Bishop Vareau. A temple. Nope, sorry, not temple. After the time of Jesus, FSW, uh, missionaries used it as a place to preach Christianity to the Jews. Name this type of building, still used as a worship site in the Jewish community. A Ian, mosque. FSW. Say again. A mosque. No, it's the synagogue, the synagogue. Next question for 20. Within a cell, which organelle contains stacks of cisternae? Ale Alexis. Mitochondria? No, sorry, incorrect. Bishop Vareau? 
Alex. Cytoplasm? Nope, not cytoplasm. The Golgi, the Golgi apparatus is what I needed there. In its prologue, its main character has a dream in which he sees a tower on a hill and heads toward it looking for its characters, do well and do best. Name this medieval British poem attributed to William Langland, whose title character serves as a guide to truth for the main character named Will. Robert, Bishop of Rome. Every man. Good try, Robert. Nope, not what I needed. FSW? Pierce Plowman. Pierce Plowman is the name of that. Next, 420. Bridgetown is the capital of what small country that lies approximately 100 miles east of the Windward Islands? Benjamin, FSW. Uh, Prague? No, nope. sorry, incorrect, not Prague. Bishop Vero. Uh Alexis. Uh, Alex, sorry, Alex. Not the Netherlands? Name. Say again? The Netherlands? No, nope. no. Nope. Bridgetown is the capital of a small country that lies east of the Windward Islands, Barbados. Barbados. All right, next question for 20. Which poem by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow has a title character who finally finds her long-lost fiancé, Gabriel, dying of illness in Philadelphia? That Longfellow poem is called Evangeline. Evangeline. Next question for 20. Though most Holy Roman emperors were crowned in Italy, Charlemagne's son, Louis the Pious, Robert, Bishop of Rome. Constantinople. No, sorry, incorrect. Charlemagne's son, Louis the Pious, was crowned by the Pope in what is now what country in A.D. Eduardo FSW? France. France is the right country. 20 points FSW. Next for 20, it's on your screen. You can read and work at the same time. Draw a horizontal line AB crossed by a transversal line CD. A is at the left, C is at the top. Two lines intersect at E. If the angle AEC is 65, calculate the angle CEB. Okay, Ian. 115 degrees. Good job, Ian. That's exactly right. 20 points, FSW Lee. Next for 20, an oxidation is a chemical reaction that results in loss of an electron. What term is given to reactions, Ian, FSW? And it anodize it. Sorry, and I don't know. No, okay. Uh, Bishop Barreau, what term is given to reactions that result in the gain, um, Haley? Reduction. Reduction. The gain of an electron is the reduction. 20 points, at Bishop Barreau. Composer Felix Mendelssohn wrote the melody for what Christmas carol that exclaims, Glory to the newborn king? Junko. Hark the herald angels sing. Good job, Junko, exactly right. 20 points, Bishop Vero. Next is another question on your screen. You'll get a little extra time for this one as well. The temperature of a gas sample is, set, is to be set such that two moles of the gas will occupy 20 liters at three atmospheres of pressure. Find the necessary temperature in Kelvin of the gas sample if the gas constant R is 0.08. For those of you um, familiar to the 18, you know that the math questions are given a little extra time. Paper, pencil, calculators. Robert's in. What's your answer? 375. Good job, Robert. That's exactly right. 375, 20 points, Bishop Vero. And that signals the end of the round. Let's see the scores. Bishop Vero at 165, FSW Lee at 85. Oh, I need to look and see what your final category is because you'll need to know that as you make your wagers. The final category will be in the subject of language arts. Language Arts is your final spot. Make your wagers. We'll come back and find out who is moving on when we come back. This one's packed with hope. This one's packed with big dreams. This one's packed with inspiration. It may look like a simple brown bag lunch, but it's really a big way to make a difference. That's because when you become a Take Stock in Children mentor, it takes just one hour a week to make an impact that can't be measured. Change a life over lunch. Become a mentor today. Take Stock in Children is a major program of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools. 
For more information on how you can become a mentor, call 239-337-0433 or email info at leeschoolfoundation.org. The A-Team Challenge, a major project of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, is provided in partnership with the School District of Lee County and Waterman Broadcasting. Two pennies by themselves don't add up to much. But when you're a Suncoast member, every time you swipe your Suncoast credit or debit card, Suncoast donates two cents to help children's programs where you live. That means Suncoast members help make their community a better place every day just by buying things with their cards. And when we add all those pennies from all those Suncoast card swipes together, we can give millions of dollars to our children's future. Visit suncoastcreditunion.com and learn how much Suncoast could save you. Hi, once again, welcome back to the concluding round of the A-Team Challenge. Great game here today between Bishop Verreaux High School and FSW Lee. You might notice the teams are a little bigger now. We've got a couple of alternates to introduce you to. On the Bishop Verreaux High School side, uh, in the back here is Brian. Brian Voorhees is a sophomore, and uh, his brother Robert is right down in the front. So, Brian, we expect to see you back here in the coming years on the A-Team Challenge. And right next to me is Allie. Allie uh, Frazier is a senior, and she wants to head to Georgetown and study biology. All right, and on the uh, FSW Lee side, we have one alternate in the back here. His name is Alfonso, Alfonso Carrillo. He's a senior, wants to go to the University of Pennsylvania and study biology. All right, so here is the question that our fine students have been working on. Good question, I think. Uh, complete these lines from the first act of Shakespeare's Julius Caesar. Cassius says that Caesar doth bestride the narrow world like one of these. Caesar says that Cassius does this mental activity too much, and the, the last one, I think, is the best one. Cassius hears Cicero speak, but doesn't understand it, and so Casca tells Cassius, it was all blank to me. So I bet you most of you at home probably are going to get C right. Let's see what the answers are to all of these. The first one is Colossus. And the second one is that he thinks too much. And the third one is Greek. Uh, it's all Greek to me. I love that. All right, so this is all going to come down to how much was wagered and whether or not the teams get the questions right. Uh, as we'll start off with the FSW Lee side, they came into the round with 85 points. Here's your answer sheet. Uh, you get the uh, last one, Greek. You got the think right, but the first one you just uh, put down a god. That's not good enough, and we have to mark that as no. You bet 81 points. That brings you down to four. Now let's see how Bishop Barreau did. Bishop Barreau gets the Greek answer from the bottom up. But think is right, and you picked a giant, also not good enough, so that'll be incorrect. However, you wagered only six points. That brings you to 159. And Bishop Verreau will be moving on. Let's give him a round of applause. Good job, Bishop Verreau. And good job, FSW Lee. You got this far, and that says a lot about your team as well. Let's get up and congratulate each other. Have a great day. Thanks a lot.